Hello, hello, and if you are watching this video, it's likely you're wanting to go from feeling overwhelmed working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis to getting more clients without being on all of the time. And this is exactly how one of my Scale and Thrive clients felt when she joined my program, Scale and Thrive. And at the time, she was working six days a week, juggling 16 clients a month with a wait list and working part-time as a child health and development nurse. And following the three key steps that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video, she was able to reduce her working hours down to three and a half days a week and build a business that really worked for her in less than seven months. So you definitely wanna stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna be going deep into the steps that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And it's the same process that has enabled me to scale my own online training agency, Baby M, generating over four million pounds in revenue over the last six years. And it's allowed me to serve thousands of gentle practitioners in the sleep and parenting space in over 35 countries. And it's the method that I teach inside my coaching program, Scale and Thrive, that supports sleep consultants and parenting specialists to go from being at capacity working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis to creating a highly scalable and high touch service where they don't need to be on all of the time. Okay, so what are the key steps that we're gonna be looking at today? Number one, discover how to create your unique course and niche. Number two, how to sell and test your course. Number three, turn your course evergreen so your clients can access it at any point. So they're the three key things that we're gonna be covering. But before we get into all of that, if you're excited to hear more about this, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, which will notify you each week when we release a video. And I've also got a free guide that you can download below this video that's really gonna help you work through how to get more clients without needing to be on all of the time. So you definitely wanna check that out. So before I jump into how Carla was able to transition from feeling burnt out and building ease into her business and that consistent flow of clients in less than seven months, let's quickly address the six key reasons why working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis can actually hold you back from growing your business and lead to a feeling of overwhelm and burnout. And when working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis, you're essentially trading time for money. So people are paying you for your time. So they choose a package, so let's say that's a call and ongoing support for a period of time. And of course the challenge with this business model is that you only have so much time in a day. So once you've factored in all of those discovery calls, if you run those client calls, follow-up support, it's pretty easy to quickly get to a point where you're at capacity in your business with not only the number of clients that you can work with, but also with the amount of money that you can make. Which leads me to the next challenge with one-to-one -one work, which is that clients need to wait for you in order to move forward. And one of the challenges with that is that it slows down their progress because they're either needing to wait for a scheduled call with you or a response to get their concern addressed. And of course, on the flip side of that, is that as a sleep consultant or parenting specialist, you can feel pressured to respond quickly because naturally you know they need your support or reassurance and you wanna be supportive. Now, the third challenge is that it's not always easy to help clients get the results that they want within a set period of time. And ultimately, we know that sometimes things do take time when it comes to working with children. Like, there are no guarantees. And there are setbacks along the way, for example, like teething or illness. That can be really, really frustrating for a parent knowing that, you know, the package has got that restraint time restraint but it also means that you're working against the clock as a professional which can feel pretty stressful now the fourth factor is that you're repeating the same information time and time again so sure you're tailoring it to the needs of your clients however ultimately you're going to be drawing on the same information to guide families and then the fifth limiting factor when it comes to one-to-one -to -one work is achieving consistency in your business and one of the things that I see a lot with sleep consultants and parenting specialists that I work with is that often they're very busy supporting a lot of clients one month but they then don't have the time to market themselves and bring in the same number of leads the next month which can lead to this kind of 
feast and famine cycle and that sense of unease and that becomes even more of an issue when they need to take scheduled times out of their business like going away for example so going on holiday or life happening <laughs> because the reality is with a one-to-one -one model if you stop then your business stops and this was the number one reason I didn't take a holiday for the first five years of my business and why I eventually and inevitably massively burnt out. And then finally, accountability. So you are your family's cheerleader, their guide, and I bet that feels wonderful, but that can also feel exhausting when you have a lot of different clients who are very reliant on you and you're coaching and you're supporting them in very different ways. So they're the six key things that really can hold you back when it comes to operating a one-to-one -one service. And let me know in the comments if you can relate to that. Okay, so now we've looked at some of the downfalls to working you know, with a one-to-one -one, uh, model with your clients. Let's look at how you can go from feeling overwhelmed and burnt out and feeling restricted in terms of scaling your impact and your business growth. So really what we're doing here is looking at how you can work with more clients and provide a high touch quality service and scale your impact and your income working less. And really this is about building more freedom, more ease into your business and creating a profitable and sustainable business. And the format that allows you to do that is a hybrid course model. And folks, there is a right way of doing this and a wrong way. And having worked with a lot of people at this stage, it really does come down to three key factors. So number one, creating your unique course and niche. Number two, knowing how to sell and test your course. And number three, turning your course evergreen so your clients can access it at any point and where you can sell it around the clock. Okay, so let's get into how to create your unique course and niche. So I often say we live in an information age where you can pretty much find information on absolutely everything online. And one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they pick a broad topic to focus on, for example. So let's say it's sleep or even gentle sleep. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, there's so much information out there. So if you just dive in and there's no differentiating factor from anyone else, you're gonna really struggle to stand out and sell and scale your program. So you wanna find that niche, not by randomly choosing it, but by really going through a process of tying it in to your unique personal story and every single person has a unique course inside of them because you are unique and your story is unique to you. And a way to think about this is that you're the hero of your story. So if you were to create the story of your life, how would that story go? And a powerful exercise to do is ask yourself six key questions to get to the root of your core niche idea. So as a sleep consultant or parenting specialist, have a think like, one, what is a problem or obstacle that you've overcome or solved for yourself or one of your clients? Number two, what do you specialize in as a sleep consultant or parenting specialist? Number three, what do people seek you out specifically to help them with? And number four, what lights you up in your role? Number five, what skills have you mastered as a practitioner? And six, what are the strategies that in your one-to-one -one service you repeat time and time again? Now, the other key factor here is when it comes to creating a unique course, what you wanna do is get clear on the transformation that you're helping someone achieve within your program. So to get clear on that transformation, you need to focus on who it is that you serve, where they are on their journey and what specific challenge are they facing and what specific outcome do they want. So in Carla's case, her program takes families that feel anxious, lost and guilty in the way that they are parenting, feeling that there's only a mainstream approach to sleep or waited out, um, you know, nothing in the middle. And she helps those parents to tap into their intuition and their instincts and gain the tools and knowledge they need to be able to responsively make adjustments to their child's sleep. And the results, those families feel empowered. They feel joyful and they become the parents they want to be where sleep is no longer something that dominates their lives. And that is all tied into her journey 
journey, being a parent and her experiences, which makes this program so powerful because she has walked the walk. She has felt the low points. She has come out the other end and her clients can feel it. And when you create your course, it's going to take a parent from their zero state to their hero state. And your curriculum is gonna be the steps needed to get them from that zero to hero stage. And what you wanna do efficiently as possible is just strip out all the content that's not needed. So you really help people achieve that as quickly as possible. Now, one of the things all of my clients do inside of Scale and Thrive is that they interview real human beings to really understand their ideal client's desires and also their challenges. And they do that because we want to sure that the courses that they're creating are the best out there. And they want to make sure that they're really, really going to be helping their clients achieve the transformation that is needed. And you can do that when you truly have spoken to lots of people, when you've got that intel, because you understand the language that they're using, you know, what's needed, their desires, their challenges, like everything is covered. And I can tell you, it often spans way beyond a topic like sleep. And another thing you want to do is you want to go online and you want to research who your ideal client is. So join relevant Facebook groups. You want to contact people on Instagram and look at book reviews, look at what people love in those reviews, look at what people are saying is missing and look at you know things like conferences and other courses that are out there that are helping your ideal client right now. And you know, look at what people are searching for online and this process, it's gonna leave success clues. And actually Carla shared in her situation how powerful that exercise is right here. When I set out with Scale and Thrive, I thought I was going to create a program because I thought I knew what the families needed um, and what they wanted and what they were looking for. But during the Scale and Thrive program, I interviewed quite a few families and that that intel was really precious because I realised that it's not my program, it's not what I think families need. I think the real magic was listening to the families and getting them to tell me what they needed and what they wanted. Okay, number two, sell and test your course idea. So what do you actually need to be able to do in order to achieve this? So all you need is your transformation statement and the outline of the formula and the curriculum that's going to get your clients from their zero state to their hero state. So from the stage where they feel really frustrated, where they feel challenged, and getting them to a point where they really wanna be. Now, one of the things I get my clients to do is pre-sell their course, because one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is thinking that they have a great idea and then spending a ton of money and time creating a course from that idea. And the problem is that they have no proof that it's gonna work, no client feedback. And I promise you, if you do that, and your course sits there on your website collecting digital dust, you will feel demoralized. I, I know it because I have been there and I've got the t-shirt. And especially when you put in a ton of work, it's so frustrating. And I dive into you know, how to pre-sell your course in a lot of detail in this video here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this program out into the world fast. You're gonna sell it and you're going to deliver it live for your first round of people and you're going to give them a discounted rate and essentially what I call this process is the BBP model. It's your beta parenting program. It's just a prototype of your course because what we're trying to do is just get real human beings testing it, like your idle client, get that cash injection into your business and for you to feel truly confident about your offer and get those testimonials. And that's gonna help you get your course out there. And it's going to help you know that you can sell this course and you're gonna have that social proof as well, which is key. It's your biggest marketing muscle. And circling back to sleep consultant Carla, she did this with her BBP program. And she got 18 people onto that program in less than 10 days. And that was a month's income like that. That is how effective this process is. And actually, this process of beta testing is not new. It's, you know, what wildly successful businesses do, like the iPhone, for example, so Apple. So this product has gone through many variations from starting off being a huge block that you could only make a call on to now a slick device that you can literally run your whole life 
through. So it's been fine tuned year after year. So like the iPhone, your course, it's going to be updated over time. So it's gonna have all these iterations to make it the best possible course it can be. And it's just part of the process. It's the process that is so, so important. So don't skip it. <laughs> so you might be thinking, well, how do you actually sell your course? Like you've done your, your beta, you've tested it, you've got those results, what do I do next? And you know, what are some of the simple ways that you can move forward? So a really simple way is once you know the outcome of your course and the problem that you're solving for your client, you can follow these really effective steps that even if you don't have an audience, they work. So you want to create content that is free online and um, on social media and in your emails as well. And that content needs to be directly relevant to the problem that you're solving in your paid program. And from there, you're going to always mention your paid course in your free content to drive traffic from all these different places on the internet to your paid course. So the next thing is that you want to create content that speaks to your clients heads and also their hearts and positions you as an authority in what you do. So we've got how-to content where you share strategies and tips. You've got thought reversal content where you tackle a limiting belief. So something that's holding your idle client back. And then you've got connection content. So sharing your story, your journey, your mission. And of course, this goes back to your personal zero to hero journey. So people can really connect with you. So they can see that you have gone through everything that they're going through as well. And then with that, you also wanna share client results, which you'll have because you would have created your BBP programs, your beta parenting program. And you can do all of this really early on. You don't have to wait for this polished and perfected program. And that's the amazing thing about this process. Okay, so hopefully you're with me. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so the third and final part is turning your course evergreen so your clients can access it at any point. But it's also you can, so you can sell your program around the clock. So basically, what you're doing here is creating a business that works for you so it's truly sustainable. And building an evergreen business is amazing because you get to detach time from money and you can work with a lot of people from all over the world. You're not charging per hour, but remember it's key that you have followed the process that I shared in step one. So niching down and really understanding who you're targeting and the transformation that you're providing. So you've tested your offer and you have proven your offer and you know that you are getting your client's results. So that's amazing. And now you can take what you've learned and you can take all that feedback, make all those edits, change things around a little bit if needed and make it even better than the first round of your offer. And then what you wanna do is you want to record it, you pre-package it and then you put it out there. So you put it out there on your course platform. So you're now at a place where you've created a sustainable business and you have packaged your program into a self-study course that clients can access and learn from. And they can do that at their own pace whenever they need it. So if a client needs you at three o'clock in the morning, well, they can access your content. They don't need you to be there answering their question. Now, the other thing though that I recommend is that you build a community around your course where your clients can connect with each other, they can cheer each other on, and where people cannot feel kind of truly accountable. So it's a private community for your program, for your course. And you also want to provide some coaching as well. So a place where you get to help people dig into your program a little bit deeper and help people achieve that transformation more quickly. So typically you'd be showing up at the same time every week, going live, answering questions and providing tailored support based on your transformational program curriculum. And honestly, the beauty of this is that you are clear on your niche. You're clear on who you're serving, how you're serving them, and your program provides the transformation. And you can be coaching five people, 10 people, 20 people, and everything is so relevant to them. And the people who have joined your program and are looking uh, at people further ahead and feeling inspired and motivated, it 
it's amazing for them and you know your whole community is aligned because you would have followed the steps that I showed you so the step one and that's how you build an incredible powerful community it allows your business to run itself you get to focus on going deep with your clients in your program without actually having to repeat the same process the same information time and time again which means that you have more time in your business so you have time to focus on finding more clients and the great thing is because you've done all the research you know where to find your clients you know you've done so much research and you've got this all planned out carefully then actually the whole process is really logical and it's really simplified and really what this boils down to is that you're running a business that feels joyful it feels predictable and that is a great place to be but am i saying this doesn't take effort no <laughs> am i saying this takes time 100 percent. it does take time it takes effort it takes focus it takes getting results but this model enables you to consistently grow to scale your impact your income and build ease into your life so this works but you have to be ready and you have to be willing to do the work so if you're interested in scaling your business online scaling your impact then click the link below and I'd love to hear from you. And so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified when we next release a video. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next video.